Hello, good morning. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is Santos Corazon Jr. Wishing you a good day. Now, what I have here in my screen is all about uh, Fire Scenario BMS Graphics. Okay. Now, uh, actually, uh, in the BMS specification, this graphics is not defined in there. It's just my will to give something to the BMS operator so that in the event of fire, he will know what is happening when there is fire in the uh, building. Okay. Now, so in this graphics, I put all the uh, equipment, HBA's equipment related to fire scenario, like the uh, staircase pressurization. So I have several funds. So I have three uh, staircase here. So one, two, three. Then I have two, uh, two funds related to each staircase. One staircase pressurization and one lift lobby pressurization. Okay. So in it in the staircase inside the staircase in lift lobby we are installing this differential pressure sensor to give us the actual pressure reading inside the staircase and inside the lip lobby, okay? Now, in my previous tutorial, I already explained what is the significance or purpose of staircase and lip lobby pressurization. It is to prevent the smoke from entering this area. As we know, uh, lip lobby and the staircase, uh, I mean, the staircase is the escape route of all the building occupant in the event of fire. Because in the leaf, you cannot use the leaf. Only one leaf is working, the fireman's leaf, okay? So in this graphics, I have put all the uh, equipment related to each staircase and lip lobby pressurization. Then I'm showing also the actual pressure, okay? Now this one, there is no fire scenario here. So meaning I just, uh, screen capture this uh, graphics so that I can use it later in my tutorial. Okay, so I have also there the status of the relief dampers. Now this relief dampers is the one uh, releasing the excess pressure in the lip lobby or in the staircase. Because if the pressure is too much in the staircase or in the lip lobby, maybe nobody will be able to enter the said area when there is fire. Okay, so the pressure should be maintained there properly. Okay, now the pressure is being maintained by BMS by controlling the variable frequency drive that uh, drives these fans. The fire uh, FDAS will be the one to run all this equipment, but the pressure in the staircase in Lipla B will, will be maintained uh, by uh, building management system or the scope of maintaining the pressure that beside pressure inside the staircase and lip lobby is the scope of BMS, okay? So also I'm showing here the lip damper status, if it is commanded to open or commanded to close, okay? Then there is also a damper fail. Damper fail is when the BMS give a command to open, then it did not open uh, within a time delay, a certain time delay, then BMS will raise alarm, please check. Uh, this uh, damper because BMS gave the command to open, but it did not respond to open, okay? So these are the information there. Then I also giving here the pressure set point. As you can see here, the pressure set point uh, is around, uh, okay, I have here 45. Then, uh, the pressure, I guess, in this area, to be maintained in the staircase pressurization one is around 45 inside the staircase and inside the lip lobby is around 35. Okay, so you can see all the set point here. Then it, this can be adjusted during civil defense testing because during civil defense testing, uh, the fire uh, officer will be checking the pressure uh, inside, the, inside the staircase and inside the lip lobby. Okay, so this, uh, these points are related to staircase pressurization. And I have here also a smoke extraction fan. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six smoke extraction fan because we have in that uh, project, we have a dome, okay? So all the smoke will be pushed into the dome and it will be extracted by all these smoke dampers. Now I uh, smoke uh, extraction fan. Then there is also a damper for its uh, 
fun. Okay, so during a uh, normal uh, scenario, there is no fire, all these dumpers are closed. Okay, so to prevent the hot air from entering the building and to prevent also this condensation. Okay. Now, in this uh, left side, I have here all the air handling units and the motorized smoke fire dumpers. Okay, so I have here the motorized smoke fire dumpers being served by this treated press air handling unit and ERU unit. Okay, so, and also I have the status of the air handling units. Now, as you can see, if there these two AHU are red, meaning there is a problem with that air handling unit. Okay. Now, in the event of fire, in the event of fire, all these air handling units, okay, inside the building, in the mechanical room, should be off. Okay. So all this will be off, and only those related to fire alarm system will be on, like this treated press air handling unit, ERU treated press air handling unit, and ERU. And uh, okay, this this four units should be running during uh, fire scenario because this one will be the one to provide fresh air in uh, in each uh, level. Okay, so how these things work? Let's say there is fire here in this level, third floor. This smoke uh, motorized smoke fire damper will open so that fresh air will be introduced there and the smoke will be pushed going to the uh, dome where the smoke extraction fans are working. So the smoke will be vented out of the uh, building, okay? So as, when there is fire, you will see only the equipment that are working in the event of fire. So uh, I'm, giving, I'm giving the BMS operator uh, a chance to see what's going on when there is a fire scenario in a building, okay? So actually this uh, graphics is not being asked from the specification of the BMS, but, but as a BMS engineer, I always think of the uh, facility management where they can uh, have a good clear or a clear picture of what is going on in the building if there is fire, okay? So this is how are you going to uh, create a uh, fire scenario BMS graphics for a specific project. Now, once again, uh, you can uh, come up with the final points related to fire alarm system. Uh, if you will uh, study thoroughly the electrical, mechanical, and material submittals of all this equipment. Okay, so again, uh, Thank you very much for watching this short video clip and I do hope I gave you an idea. How are you going to create a fire scenario BMS graphics in the near future if you will become a BMS engineer? And it is also a good uh, B, uh, display graphics for a maintenance engineer of the building. So he will get a clear picture of what is going on when there is fire in the building or when there is fire alarm in the building and he can check if all these things are working in the event of fire, okay? Then this one will give also a good idea to those who are trying to become a project engineer or who wants to join the MEP company. Again, thank you very much. And Santos, uh, wishing you a good day and saying God bless us all and bye for now.